Welcome to Buy, Hold, Sell. My name's Matthew Kidman, and today I'm joined by Roger Montgomery from the Montgomery Fund and Ben Clark from TMS, and we are talking about rolling year highs. You should always look at them. Start with you, Ben. It's the big, big mover in the big caps. Blood bank, say, sell, buy, hold, or sell. Um, I'd have a hold on this, Matthew. I think at 28 times earnings, it's starting to look pretty full. It's our biggest holding, and the flu division looks like it's on track. CEO's very upbeat about the future, but the valuation's priced in. Is the blood too rich, Roger? Buy, hold, or sell? I agree. In frighteningly expensive. Everyone knows it's one of the best Australian export stories. Uh, and it's being reflected in the price. You need a lot of upgrades to earnings to justify that price. So I'll actually go sell. Okay, infrastructure, it's in the budget, it's everywhere, we need more of it. Transurban, buy, hold or sell? Just because the government's building infrastructure doesn't mean existing providers make more money. Uh, I, look, for me, it's actually a sell. And the reason being, it's giving a bond-like return. It's a very long duration asset, but you're really taking equity market risk. Okay, Transurban. Roads, we've got to drive on them, they're going to go forever, buy, hold or sell? I, I'd be a sell as well. I, I, on a 4.5% yield, I just find it hard to see that compressing much further in what I think is going to be a rising bond yield environment. And even more important than a good road is a good night's sleep. ResMed, buy, hold or sell? Yeah, I'd be a hold on ResMed. Um, we really like the Braintree, um, at Brighttree acquisition they did recently. Long-term structural growth story, but again, valuations priced in. It's high, but it's volatile, Rog. Buy, yeah, hold, uh, hold for me. Um, the, the growth in their CPAP uh, business has been good, but you need to see that flow through to masks, and that hasn't happened yet. Uh, but we think it will, so it's a hold. Even better than a good night's sleep is real estate. <laughs> REA, buy, hold, <laughs> Love your sell. segues. <laughs> um, look, this is a business that we think is now um, pricing in uh, very good results. Uh, we think it's an extraordinary business with great pricing power, uh, but for us it's a hold at best and, and maybe time to trim. It's been a tower of strength that's fended off all competitors, REA, buy, hold or sell? Yeah, yeah I'd still be a buy on it, Matthew. I, I think when you look at consensus, it still looks a bit low to us. I think the Sydney and Melbourne housing markets might be topping out, more volumes coming onto the boards. We're hearing 15% price rises this year, so I think they're in for probably a faster year of earnings growth and the market's fought pricing in at the moment. All right, let's turn to one of Australia's great investment companies, Sol Pats, gone into the 200, yep. hitting new highs, buy, hold or sell? Yeah, I'd, I'd be a hold at best on this one. I think when you look at the components of TPG, New Hope and Brickworks, there's two that are still really struggling. I think it's been a bit of a liquidity thing, index buying, um, I'd sit back for now, probably hold, prefer Brickworks at these levels. Terrific investment group. Buy, yeah. hold or sell. Look, if, if you put a gun to my head and ask me to make a decision on a business that I, I don't own and have never owned, I'd say the Milner family are people to back. Uh, and it's probably a hold at best and, and maybe a buy. There's a lot of good businesses hitting all-time highs, but it doesn't mean you have to go out and buy them. 